to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you guys how my bedroom looks like. So basically, this will be a rental room makeover. I honestly been wanting to film this video for like a while now, but I was feeling like my bedroom is not really aesthetic enough, it's not really pretty enough. But now I was like, screw that, I'm not trying to like beat some sort of bedroom standard on social media. I tried my best to make this place as cozy as I could and I'm pretty proud of it. So that's why I just wanted to show it to you guys. And the reason that I emphasize on the rental room is because obviously I don't own this place and I have to follow the laundry list of rules when I'm giving this place a makeover. I don't know whether it's the same situation for you guys or if you're staying like in the rental property but in Singapore it's very strict when you're renting a place like for example my landlord he doesn't even allow me to drill a hole on the wall um, if I want to move in any big furniture I have to seek for his approval so it was really ridiculous for me when I get to know there are so many rules I have to follow because um, it was quite the opposite for me when I was living in Canada in a rental property I was able to do whatever the hell I want as long as I make sure I restored everything back before the lease ends but here in Singapore I, I just can't I have to do everything according to the rules so it was really frustrated for me at first but then uh, I did get a little bit more creative and in order to achieve the end result that I wanted to have and honestly a lot of the furniture and decoration piece I got it from Aliexpress I made a whole video out of it so if you haven't watched it yet I'll link it up here there uh, so you can check it out and if you wanted to know like exactly what surprise um, you can watch that video as well. So without saying too much, let's just get it started. Hi guys, so I'm coming to my room and let's start this room tour. As you can see from this angle, this is pretty much everything that is in my bedroom right now. Uh, so you can see that the space is okay, like it's not too big and not too small. Uh, so let's just start with this corner, shall we? So this area is basically my desk and my study area. Uh, I probably will start with this chair first. Um, because I'm actually very proud of this chair. I got it from a secondhand shop in Singapore and I paid like $60 for it. Uh, but I do feel like I probably can end up paying a little bit cheaper than that because I didn't really pay attention to the arms. The arms are actually a little bit overused. Um, but in general, I'm pretty happy with this chair, especially the color. That's how I decided to buy it in the end. So the desk, I didn't buy it. It actually comes with uh, the room, but the surface is again a bit overused from the previous tenant. So all I did was just I got a tablecloth from Aliexpress and I just covered the surface so it looks a bit more decent this way. And so this is basically my study slash working from home area. I have two of my laptop here, and for this corner, uh, I just keep like a tissue box. I mean. Like the box I got from Aliexpress, I think is also like around 5 USD. And I kept some plant decoration here, but don't worry, this is fake. I mean, just, you know, by looking at how beautiful it is, it's obviously fake. I don't even know how to take care of plants in general. And the bottle is a gift from a friend. So, which I don't really know the price. Ooh, ooh, oh my God, let me just put it back. And these mirror, I'm sure you guys um, are familiar with it if you watch my Aliexpress home deco haul. So this one I got from Aliexpress again. It's one of my favorite purchases, and I was so happy when I find out the mirror comes in one piece. Like it didn't break or anything during the transit. And this one I think I paid like around 10 USD dollars for. It. and it actually looks very good when I'm hanging it on the wall so moving around this is the laundry basket uh, also the basket I got from Aliexpress 
You honestly can use this basket for like anything, but for me, I'm just putting my dirty laundry inside. And for this wooden hanger, it's I think one of my favorite pieces all well in this entire room. So um, there's like a little hook on the bottom which you can use to hang pretty much anything like your hats, your scarf, your purses. But I just hang some dainty jewelry because I feel like it looks better this way. And this painting, I got it from AliExpress again. Uh, can't really remember what was the price, but I got it a long time ago. And this entire area, it's actually very easy to create if you guys want pretty much the same thing. So you, all you have to do is just go online, find a bunch of pictures or posters that you like, and then you print it out. Uh, and then I got, I went to the stationery shop in Singapore and I just got this like colorful circle stickers and then I just stick it on the wall. So I'm not really like, you know, ruin the, ruining the wall since this is a rental room. And this baby, let me just turn on the lights. So obviously you can tell that this is uh, a bedside table plus a, a floor lamp. <laughs> Um, I think this one is actually quite useful, so the reason that I got it is because, you know, I didn't really want to put a shelf or anything here, but I do want a place for me to put some books and then to put my phones and, you know, candles as well. Just to put myself in a mood to go to bed sometimes, uh, I put like a little bath here and with some fresh flowers. So the bed, the bed obviously I didn't purchase it, uh, it came with the room as well, but the bedding, the green bedding, this is from Aliexpress again. I think at this point you guys probably realize everything, like pretty much everything I have in this room are uh, from Aliexpress. And this plant, so this plant, um, it was second handed, so I didn't get it from Aliexpress for this one. It was, uh, I bought it from the local market from someone else. I think I probably paid for like 20 Singapore USD, uh, Singapore dollars for it. So it's even less than 20 if you convert it to USD. This one is fake, so I, I cannot take care of it. I don't think if I put a real one there, it will survive. And the, the the wall here, I was originally like not entirely sure what should I do with it and then in the end I just came up with the idea of the photo wall and so here is just some photo of me, my family and then some places I've traveled before and I just want to you know keep it as like good memories here and it's also cute as a decoration and this chef, I'm sure you guys know it as well like I said if you watch my Aliexpress video and so I mean it's just some random decoration here. I'm not really using it to any to really store anything. So the first layer I have just some flowers, vast, and the second layer I have just a glass glass container that stores like my errands and rings. And then I have a candle here, uh, a purple crystal here, and then some scent. So you know it's just like a pure decoration shelf. Now I'm gonna go into my bathroom and just you know quickly show you guys since it's a master bedroom, so this room does has attached a bathroom. Um, I didn't really change much about my bathroom because I do appreciate the original theme and the design of the bathroom. So you can see that it's basically like a fancy Scandinavia style. I mean my bathroom, so everything is white, and then the surface here is marble, which is great. Uh, so I do have a pretty big mirror and then I'm not even using much of the space here. I have pretty much all of uh, my items just in one corner. And here I have the entire area of the storage unit. And I also have um, like a cupboard here as well. So I actually just store all of my stuff here. So I don't really need to bend over <laughs> if I put stuff here. Um, the great thing is I do have a bathtub, but I don't honestly don't really use it that often because it's just it takes forever to fill in the water and also like it just gets a bit messy in the end. So I usually just use it as like a stand-up shower anyway. Um, and oh here, like I almost forgot the mirror. 
Like I'm very happy that I find this full lens mirror also second hand. Um, I think this one is pretty expensive so it's like 70 Singaporean dollars. The great benefit of having a full lens mirror in your room is you know it's easier for you to check yourself and like to check your outfit before you leave the place and the final thing that I wanted to mention is just I have a bunch of inbuilt closet of this room and which I really like it but if once I open it you will see that I have like huge storage space here which I'm not even using it like my <laughs> I'm not even filling in like the whole area and then up there it's all empty since I honestly don't have that much stuff and it's the same kind of situation for this one as well so this is pretty much the end of the room tour I hope you guys enjoy watching it also for the future video I have this idea of filming a kitchen tool or like a kitchen gadget haul because I was standing in my kitchen and filming my intro in my previous video and I got a comment saying that um, like your kitchen is pretty cute and what's the style what kind of uh, gadget do you use so that's why I figured you guys might be interested in watching a video like that so if you do want to see that in my channel just comment down below and let me know so I'll make it happen for you guys and thank you again for staying until the very end of this video and I'll see you guys next time bye bye